If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, there's a setting in the control panel that you might want to change. When I switch from full to limited using the NVIDIA control panel, you can tell the video looks dull and chalky compared to when it's set to full. The same thing can happen with the Windows Media Player. Once again, the dynamic range is set to full. If I switch it to limited and hit apply, it doesn't make any changes to the nonlinear editing systems. I know some people are thinking it won't make a change until you hit play. So I'll hit play really quick. As we can tell, it looks the same. I'll hit play for DaVinci Resolve. And as you can tell, no changes took effect. You can't control what the video is going to look like on somebody else's playback device, whether it's a $300 Google Chromebook or a $2,500 iMac. They're all going to have different operating systems, different graphics processing units, different color profiles, different software programs, and different monitors. Not only is there a chance that your video won't look correct when played back on other people's devices, your video might not look correct when played back on your own computer, depending on how you have things set up. Adjustment layers are a really easy way for you to compensate for the discrepancy between what you see in your nonlinear editing system versus what that image looks like once it's uploaded to YouTube or Facebook. All you do is create the adjustment layer and drop and drag it into your timeline or sequence. You want to add a few effects to the adjustment layer. One of the effects I always add is this adjust. It's the proc amp. Another one I use is the gamma correction. I can just drag that in. You can lighten and darken the image as you need. If I switch this to eight, it lightens it. If I switch it to 12, it darkens the image. I can disable the gamma correction, and now I can manipulate the brightness of the proc amp and get the image quality that I want. You won't apply the adjustment layer until you've done all your editing and you're getting ready to export. I know some of you might be thinking, what if my $50 video editing software doesn't have an adjustment layer? All you have to do is render out your sequence or timeline, preferably at 10-bit on compressed, bring it back into your editing system, and then make minor adjustments using a proc amp or a gamma filter, and then render it out at H.264 once you've made the adjustments. Then it's ready for the internet. I don't really recommend using the LUT. I would rather just use an adjustment layer, but here it is at export. You can apply LUTs. If you have a 27 inch iMac or a $600 Dell laptop, there may be settings in the graphics card for those particular devices that need to be tweaked out as well.